Okay, what is up lads? Cats and Brawl here, back playing. Ah, Super Mario Galaxy. Last episode, we mainly uh, spent our time in Honey Hive, basically helping the Queen with her itchiness problem, and clearing out naughty bugs here. And we finished off in Loop de Loop Galaxy, which is one start uh, missions. It was alright. I did it in one run, but uh, my arm just was too scrunched up. Anyways, this episode, I think we're... I'll be aiming for uh, a boss battle here. So, there's two stars to go. Might as well not go back there. Start off with good egg. Get those two stars and then get that grand star in whatever that was the Bowser. Oh, Ken Caliente's big fleet. Oh, this shouldn't be too bad. It's another bus fight. Did I say bus fight or boss fight? I don't know. Anyways, those airships are back. First time since the first episode. Alright, cool. Yes. Ah. Uh, starboard? Oh. Yeah, I don't need these, I'm just getting because I feel like getting them. Oh, hey, oh. Nice. Alright. Oh, whoa! Mm. <laughs> I jumped up to your chair. Thing. Go away. There you go. Yeah! Very lovely. We're going to a new part of the galaxy we haven't been to. Oda! Now. Can I? There you go. These things. It's like a coconut thing, but you don't hit the coconut tree to let it fall down. At least I don't think. You have to hit the actual coconuts. To those bubbles and hopefully get those things. I never got them, so I'm not gonna bother. Anyways. Oh my god, of course you're gonna block my shot. There you go. Just need to defeat that spike plan. Ah. Well. In sandy areas, you can ground pound and let Mario go halfway through the ground. Nice. Hello. Whoa, you saved me. Thanks, Mario. In return, let me tell you about a secret about this place. Apparently those spiky things just hate coconuts. Shake the Wii Remote to spin and smack them coconuts. Yeah, we really know that, but... There's a little hint you want that. Right. Well, so is the big plant, so... Very obvious. Aha! Yeah, I didn't want that, but okay. Ah, Pokey! Now we got it. Wait, did I pick a box? Oh, hello. Here we go. So to defeat him, we have to not do that. Hit him with coconuts and stomp on his head. Cute. Okay. Let's go. I'm actually very hyped for this battle. Oh, nope. Let's not go there yet. Because I think there's going to be a rainbow star here. I believe. Now, I think I poorly explained it, so let me explain this again. If you go to an area like this, where it's cubed or circular like this, it's basically teleporting you to a very far area of the galaxy. And you won't see it until you... Unless you, like, break the game, make yourself fly infinitely off to di distance, and you can see a purple haze. Where? You'll just... I think go through and then you see a circular... Planet thing. Or maybe even the features. Like that. Also, it's the first time we've seen the chain shops here in this game. Oh, let's see if I can get this. 
Oh, oh now there's bullet bells. Oh god. They're always homing. That's cool, I guess. Nice snow. We'll need to use their help when we're in uh, the first Bowser battle here. Don't. There we go. We're so close. That shining thing is over there. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Oh, that sucks. I wanted to get those star bits. Anyways. There's these things. And we basically gotta play tennis with them. Aha! Nice. No, don't. No, come on. There you go. Uh. Do one of these have a one up? Yeah. Just air. Thank you, Nike. With your air max and shit. I mean, they're alright sneakers, just. the company. No point. Doesn't mean I'm gonna get them pre owned or so whatever. Uh, extension there. I'll just call it an extension. Alright. Let's go! Through the propeller blades. And to the underside of Caliente's ship. Uh, this Luna, I think, will tell you about the divots. And that you can get coins from them. Or, yeah. Okay, cool. Thankfully for me, I have uh, an extension. Oh no, you dick! I wanted to get those th star bits. Alright, so basically you have to practice tennis with this guy. Or at least... That's two great things that we played tennis with. That was an exhibition match. This is the real thing. Aha! Angry emoji. It's gonna create those fire things. Alright. Oh! Too bad! Easy. <coughs> Alright. No damage, basically. Cool. At least in the boss fight. Ah, lovely. Okay. King Caliente's spell fees completed. Nearly a thousand, uh, things. Oh, you that other galaxy. Hungry Luma. Ah, we can do that some other time. Actually, I think I know what this next one is. Next galaxy, I should say. Ah, yes. Flip switch galaxy. This should be easy. Another one star galaxy to mess with. Alright, painting the planet yellow. Alright. We've done these plenty of times, but... <laughs> it's a smaller planet and this is somehow a galaxy, but whatever. So we start off with one uh, switch. Already yellow. Gotta watch out for. Ah. Right. That is done. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. Nice. That's what I call parkour. Oh god. <laughs> okay. 
green. Now the lasers and these platforms are turned off, but not this robot, so... Pardon. I think it'll stop producing electricity, but we can still use it to jump up. Sensational. Pretty easy, and... I might do four stars this episode. I'm feeling it like that now. But first, I want to complete that boss galaxy. And he'll tell us about that now. You have discovered an enemy base in the region. You can only hope that they are not misusing the power of that poor Grand Star. Oh, don't get your hopes up. Now let me get some life up and whatever. Um, okay, I guess they already completed it. I thought it'll be l at least two domes. It'll, I thought it'll take two domes for, to see this completion, but okay. Anyways, hello! We finished building the Starshroom Bows, uh, Starship. We'll use it to search for power stars. And we, the members of the Toad Brigade, will be the brave coup. And this brigade needs a bold leader, so I nominate, well, uh, me. Out of my command, the galaxies will see the bravery of the Toad Brigade. So yeah, that's the birth of Captain Toad. Hell, oh, he, I'm pretty sure he's, he has the same getup in the actual Captain Toad game. Uh, I actually do want to play that, but I don't want to get a Wii Hell, it's getting obsolete because everything, every game is getting ported somewhere else. I should switch or third-party games to a different. Uh, console. Like Bayonetta. At least the first one is on PS4. Anyways, let's open this. And with that, the music will change, as you can hear. It will stay the same until you, I think, beat this galaxy, so... Yeah. So... Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor. Mega Legs Moon. Now, it shouldn't be too bad, but it could get annoying. Uh, pass it by that Mega Leg boy. Yes. Now we gotta introduce ourselves to baiting, I guess. And these uh, Goombas that are well, on edge. Go away. So, if you want to defeat him, just... Cut him on the side and step on top. There you go. Oh my god! Okay, so we baited a... Little Bill. And we have to basically... Get him to, uh... Think. Gotta make him jump up so... We can actually complete the... Orbit. Or the surface. Whatever. What was I going to say? We gotta jump so the bolt bill doesn't crash into the earth or the planet. Hey, it's your boy! Oh, you made it. But I won't even, I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go out of Mega Leg. Stomp him with the power of your grand star. Haha, <laughs> bye bye. Damn. Okay. That's your boy. Alright, we won't need much uh, time in this. Uh, how should I say it? We wouldn't spend much time on it. The planet in general, so yeah. yeah. I already lost a lot of my life, so damn. This sucks. Alright, so. Follow me. There you go. 
After that, the Grand Star will be protected. And these gates will appear, of course. But they will re spawn, or they will be regenerated after some time, so. Yeah. Gotta. There we go. Here, here, here. Aw, oh, damn it. Come on. Come on, reload. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, now you reload? Oh, you suck. Alright, come on. Oh, did it? It collided on itself, okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yes! Finally. That's like the only hardest thing, or hardest thing about this mission. It's gonna be tedious just to lure the bullet bills. <sighs> Doesn't matter now. We have to Grand Star. Got the Grand Star. Ah, nice. Oh, oh. Now it's yellow. So we have two out of uh, six Power Stars, or Grand Stars. Cool. Nice. Ah. Uh, so we got a brand new galaxy and a new dome. The fountain. Look. The ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. Oh, the beacon? Okay. When you recover a grand star, a little power star will be restored, and the beacon will grow. A common observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all the power is restored, we'll even be able to fly to the center of the universe. Very cool. Oh, the power's on in a new dome. Yes, I can see. The newly opened dome is called a fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you forget the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. Well, I don't really have to speak with you, because you already see the map there. Yeah, you can see the general layout of the map. So, you don't really need to talk to him, unless you want to talk to him about stars or whatever. Andrew Luma. Go away. What do you mean? 400. I don't want to feed you now. Let's go check out that new dome. Because I am absolutely good. Maybe even do another star. Right on. Oh, look at that. Nice. Alright, nine stars. Don't worry, I'll get that other star in, uh... Where's that? Uh, honey Hive. Space Junk. Oh, this might take some time, but let's do it. Okay. The Pole Star Path. This shouldn't be too hard, but eventually we'll get introduced to a new type of mission, I guess. Which could make this a little more tricky. Anyways. As the name suggests, welcome to Space Junk Galaxy. Galaxy, wow. It has like the most relaxing music 
I guess because of the ambience, so that's cool. Oh, everything is spaced out and stuff. Uh, it's absolutely one of my favorite tracks. Next to whatever track plays in the, uh, the beach planet or the beach galaxy. That should be in the next dome, I believe. The one I'm talking about. So, yeah. Also, if you go too far with the pull star and you lose, well, gravity said pull star. Well, bye bye Mario. Off to space you go. Oh my God. Ah, uh, here we go. Right. Ho oh, oh. ho! Ah, hey! Oh, take that, thank you, yes. And, if I'm correct, I think this rocket ship is the same model of Olimars and... Or, Captain Olimar, I should say, from the Pikmin series. Uh, I don't think you really see it. Oh, well, I don't know how to... There you go. I guess. Because all my would be sitting here, if I'm correct. And then this passenger or whatever will be sitting here. Hmm. Uh, now, I do want to play Pikmin. Because I'm so glad I can actually record this, but... Oh, uh, Pikmin. It is basically a big-timed game. You gotta do it in 30 in-game days, or else I'll be forced to get the hell out, and if I don't have enough parts, well, rip. So I'm just practicing. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Whoa. Right. Hello. Ow. On hold. Yeah. Give me that coin. I touched that spider, but okay. Ow. That's un cool. Uh. Right. Oh, you have to rescue the code crew. I forgot. Aha, there's the starship. Where did my glasses go? I don't know, man. That's good, bro. Da -da -da -da, Mr. Mario. As the brave captain of the Toad Grave already discovered a shortcut to the Power Star. Take the Sling Star at the top of the starship. Alright. Oh my god. Alright, I appreciate that. Let's go. And here's the introduction of Silver Stars. Basically, it's kind of like the starships, but you're collecting stars instead. And you need to collect five of them. It can be a pain here, but just go to where the bubbles are and you should be fine. Though, I might die anyways. Alright. Mm -hmm. Uh, right. There you go. Two more. Right. Oh god. God damn it. Right on. Uh, and of course we have to go back ourselves. Right on. I can hear the star now. 
That's very spooky. There you go. Oh, don't do that. Aha! Right. And that should be it for this episode. I am absolutely proud of myself for doing four stars. Nice. Right on. Alright. Cool. Alright, saving the game. And, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like for this episode, and don't forget to subscribe and share with our friends. Leave some feedback down below, and I shall see you in the episode you watch next, channel, man. Peace out.